This video is going to be on the clip in engine room as the B for any percent. Um, a lot of people have issues with this because they'll just kind of come over to the wall and spam A like that. And um, that's like a really unreliable way of doing it. There is a really good setup that the Beast and I came up with that I'm going to be explaining in this video. So, like I said, you don't want to come up and just start mashing. There's a very specific way you want to line up that lets you through. Um, I'll kind of go through how it was developed and how you should begin to practice this. And then uh, kind of how to progress to just actually get it to where you can do it consistently in a run. So the first thing is to come into engine room so that the camera is clipped out of bounds but the B is not. From here you can line the bee's backpack up with this rotating cog L-shaped dog leg thing right here that the bees square with. And from that point you should be able to mash A about three or four times and clip out really easily. So we can do that a few times. This is the setup that you want. Uh, pay really close attention to kind of like the what the bee is doing against the wall and the angle that the backpack has with like the where the roof would be um, that's actually really important so now if we want to consistently clip out of this room what we actually need to do is get the same setup but with the camera inbounds so let's start out by getting our setup and then land the camera fall into bounds. And then once again we're able to clip super easily. With the camera clipped in bounds, this trick is no different than if you were to just come up and get into this position and uh, do the trick. It's worth mentioning that it helps to hold forward right as you start pressing A and not before as uh, the rotation of the B seems to help with the clip. Oh, now it's not going to work. <laughs> there we go. The main thing with this trick is to be deliberate on knowing exactly when you want to clip. You notice that I'm not just mashing, I kind of mash in groups of three or groups of five. Okay, now that we have that working fairly consistently for us, what we can do now is just from inside the room try and line it up how we had with the backpack, basically square with the ceiling. And then once we're in a spot that we think will work, we can mash A five times while holding forward and holding B and get through. And that's basically the clip. So I hope that helps some of you people trying to run any percent. Uh, this for the longest time kind of miffed a whole bunch of people, and including top runners. So uh, having a consistent set for it's really nice so that you're not losing massive amounts of time to this one trick. Alright, thanks for watching.